G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors and as you can tell by the title we're heading up to the Helena shelter to have a look around Yeah, are coming to the sign for the Helena shelter where the first thing you'll notice is a beautiful view that is just fantastic now if your legs are aching Use your walking poles coming down here on gravel, slippy, <coughs> and steep. And you just see the shelter through there. The first thing you'll come to as you come down this track along the spur trail is the dunny, the outdoor toilet, and it's a drop toilet. And these are composting toilets, not chemical toilets, and not flushing toilets. So please don't dump anything down here. It's only meant for tissue to compost into it. Wet wipes are a no-no, because that will ruin the composting. Chemicals is definitely a no-no, because that destroys the composting. And ladies, I'm sorry to say, if it's that time in a month, you have to carry that out with you too because that can't go down these toilets so let's go and have a look inside and hopefully nobody's in there at the moment and there it is I'll tell you a story about this one a friend of mine stopped here and it was so cold, wet and windy he actually put his sleeping bag down there I slept in here and he said it was nice and warm not the most hygienic but it did him good now we've got toilet roll on this one toilet roll is normally not provided it's something you have to carry yourself so please remember that and be sparing and bring your own and share the toilet with this young one Looking at it upside down, it's a red back. So don't go playing with him. Now, as you come out of the toilet, at the dunny, we carry on going down to the shelter, which is down there. But as long as you keep an eye on your feet every now and then, enjoy these views. What we'll do first before we get to the shelter, we'll start looking at the camp pictures because we've got some up here. And as you can see the sign, point to the toilet the way we just come, and now to the camp pictures. Now, like I said, I came here just after they finished building this shelter down there and there was hardly any vegetation here and this has made a difference over the last couple of years giving it a chance to grow so we've got one small pitch down here now when I say one tent I'm using the size of the average two person hiking tent to fit in these pitches. So we've got Mother Nature growing back, taking some of it back. But it's fairly flat and even a few stones. The ants here, you see where a kangaroo has been digging. So it's a fairly nice one. And a view. Let's go and see what else we've got here. And carry on down, let's have a look. I forecast the rain today and it's very humid. And make a stop. Spider's web. There we go. Moved him. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's decently spread apart so far in the spider web. Just coming to another tent pitch or two or three. See a few from here. Now, this is a nice one, comfortable one person or one tent, should I say, or squeeze two small ones and that. They got the gravel uh, level. Always recommend to use a ground sheet or a footprint for your tent just to protect the bottom of it. And a nice comfortable sleep mat in your tent on these pitches. They're not too bad so I don't think you'll feel any of the actual gravel or stones. Let's carry on down a little bit more. There's another one. Comfortably big enough for one. One tent on there. Nice view down to the shelter and a private track to it as well. So let's go back up so we don't miss any. There's a track being made that way. I think it joins up with the track at the top here. So we'll carry on looking from the top. I'm using my pole stills up and down here. Just to make it a little bit safer and easier for me. Okay, next pitch. It's a bit more stony, more stony, or looks stonier. More stones sticking up and uh, gravel. But fairly decent. At a squeeze again, you can fit two tents on this one, but comfortably one. Uh, let's carry on looking. Again, some beautiful views. And you can see the dark clouds coming in. The forecast of rain. Oh, that's okay. I'll throw the poncho on. And carry on walking to Worley today, I think. I'll have a quarter an hour break here. And another fairly nice, this is the least even of them all, but still a decent one. Comfortably fit one tent or two small on there. And again, a beautiful view. And kangaroos. Yes. Way down to the shelter. I'll take this track. And let's have signals because my phone's getting a load of messages coming through now. So, yeah, if there's no signal at the shelter, there's a signal up here on the camp pictures for your phone. There's another tent pitch down there. Let's go and have a look at that one. There we go, nice and level. A couple of rocks sticking up here. But you can get a nice hiking tent in there about actually hitting these rocks. Fairly little bit of a lean on this one but flat. When I say flat you mean it's a smooth finish. It doesn't go up and down in waves. And let's carry on down. See what else. Now I have been here like I said before and I had a look at the trees then because some of you know what I like to use a hammock. And I haven't seen any decent sized ones now. And last time I was here, it was a bit uh, sparse, let's say, of using trees to hang a hammock from. There was a lot of deadfall above. Uh, there's another two camp pitches there. Fairly decent. 
just a nice size to fit like I said a hiking tent on there two person it looks like this nearest one is the freeway for the ants coming down here and then another little highway coming off that's the first one I've seen with actual ants on it uh, up there looked like they had been ants but there wasn't any whilst I was up the top Yeah, that's where the ants nest is. They're building a nest there, coming up there. And see another one down here. And more tent pitches. It's a good amount of tent pitches at this shelter. A decent one there. Level in the middle, well, a bit of a bowl shape, so if it rains, you're going to get a puddle in the middle. Another sign for more tent pitches. This has got a nicer feed into it down this part, a bit more sheltered. There, yeah, that's a fairly nice one. See, we've had, had ants, but very few there now but that's a comfortable size one to have one average size hiking tent on and we keep going And one more here. Like I said, a bit stony. Got the freeway of the ants going through here. All the way through past. Looks like the nest might be down there. Because there's no access points on the actual tent pitch itself. So just be aware the ants are using this one as a freeway. And they don't like me being there. So they started climbing all my legs. Oh, my boots heading for my legs. And now, I can't see any more tent pitches from here. So let's go and have a look at the shelter. I said this shelter got burnt down a couple of years back in the bushfires and they rebuilt it with the Pressed earth ones, which I'm not over keen on. I like the old wooden looking shelters, the huts, if you want to call them that. They just uh, seem to fit in better with the bush. But the day this one set on fire, the fire was coming from that direction, up the hill on either side. And there was one chap left here. And I've met him a couple of times and had a quick yarn which lasted a couple of three hours. And he didn't see the fire. It was only when the chopper came over and saw him standing here looking at the chopper and wondering what was going on. And by the time they'd winched down to the shelter here, or the original shelter, and harnessed him and as he was lifting him up, the fire actually came over the brow of the hill there and by the time it was in the chopper up there the fire had made it to the original shelter so he was very lucky just a matter of what's that 90 seconds to two minutes on the chopper coming over to the fire taking the shelter but here you go here's the view from the shelter The clouds are over, so they've not got much sun, but it is a beautiful view from here. I have a fire pit down there. We have a load of logs cut for you to, to use as seats. We've got two water tanks, one here and one on the other side at the back. 
The shelter has been made, I believe, for up to 24 people comfortably. You can probably squeeze more if you don't mind snuggling up. Two fairly large picnic benches on the inside. Now, if I remember, this one is a higher one, or used to be, but look, they've changed it. Yep, they've changed this one. When he originally put the, the picnic benches inside, there was part of the seat missing here, so you could stand here and cook on the tables, but the tables were up here. So, as you're sitting at the table, the table is level with your upper chest, which was a bit of a pain, but they've replaced them now. That's still fairly high, but they put the bench up higher. And we've got a normal low one there. And we've got another three out here, which have done the same too, so they're all changed for the positive. And on the outside, you've got places to hang your packs. So that's 10 there. We've got another 8 over there, so that's 18. There's hooks up the top also. Hooks underneath for you to hang your pack. And some little buggers, open up the beer and left it here. Take it home with you next time, you assholes. Excuse the language. Now one thing I did notice about this shelter when I stopped here, it was a wet day, cold, uh, in the winter, was the wind blew up the valley, straight in the openings here, and out there, bringing with it all the rain. So if you're even laying on here, the rain would get you. But what they have fitted here, if you carry your tarp, There's some hooks, top and bottom, so you can tie your tarp over there. So it's going to be at least a what's that, two, three, three by two, three by two and a half tarp. You could still do it with a three by three or anything bigger. Same on this opening here. So that was good thinking. But personally. I would have the one opening on the side over there to get in and out and built these up at the front to block the wind coming in but you could still sit inside and get a fantastic view so there you are that's the Helena shelter I think this time of year it'd be nice staying here because that breeze coming up from the valley blowing through the shelter would make it nice and cool in there. But if you come in here in winter, bring yourself a tarp to close this front off. Or even just close the sleeping area off where you're sleeping. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm just enjoying the views. And if you're not a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to it and select all. Click the thumbs up button, which is the like button. And again, if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.